And my talk today is called On My Way to the Best Practice of, for Integrating JS Graph and Stack. And of course, uh, it's a bit of a hack as well. So it's a best practice of hacking in some sense. So the plan of the lecture is, uh, is the following. Uh, I'll short about JSX Graph and then the Stack JS Graph API for points. And uh, then the best practice for going around the Stack um, JS Graph API, but by using as much API as possible. So, and then some gallery, and, and I hope that I will be able to show some, um, some code, not maybe not the code, but some of these uh, exercises that I have made, some of them. And um, so, so this is uh, what is JSS Graph and is and what we want it to be, or actually what we want uh, to be the the uh, the stack and and uh, JSS graph integration. So of course it's uh, you can you can make whatever you like because you can make a lot of uh, figures with uh, by using this by using stack and a JSS graph. I mean. But uh, Stack is uh, communicating only to a little part of it. And um, well, well, um, going around it, um, we would like to use JSS graphs uh, possibilities in Stack. So, and many people before me have tried this and they're trying to go around the API. API. And uh, one way is to just uh, search for this um, uh, the name of of the of the fields and and get them from from HTML etc. But uh, it worked, but suddenly it didn't work. So I'm trying to follow the I'm trying to follow the uh, this um, uh, this API as much as uh, possible. So first I will go uh, through. What uh, JS, uh, JSX graph? Uh, uh, well, how, how it does with points, etc. So you can bind a simple one point, two points, and a list of points, of course. And um, you see here, it's um, uh, this is the the simplest uh, stack JS graph question. There is only one point you can move around and. And uh, then, then this point is given to stack as the answer. And uh, well, it's quite simple. And uh, we need, sometimes you need more. So you can have, um, you can have several points. You can have two points. And this was uh, introduced uh, a while ago. And uh, when I started to use stack and uh, our JSX graph in stack. Uh, I think this was the only thing I were offered. So I tried to get around it uh, when I wanted to give other answers. So, but suddenly the, that didn't work. So I had to clean up. And uh, maybe I didn't need, had need to clean up or do all these bad things if uh, this one had existed before. So you can um, make, uh, you you can move around on on different different uh, uh, points etc. And you can uh, answer questions like uh, solving um, a linear equation, as in this uh, example you see here. So so this is um, this is uh, something that. Uh, I tried to do, okay, there is only one answer that was uh, answer field and you can get a list of points. But uh, what about finding more variables? And I found that of course, um, Stack supports that. I, I'm not sure if that is something new or if it has been supported all the time, but you can, you can bind several variables, several inputs, uh, uh, in input fields in stack, you can bind them to JS graph. So you can bind two points in this way. 
So what is the point here? Well, the point is that uh, I'm going to have no no points. <laughs> that was uh, a pun. Uh, because uh, I like to make some, uh, some uh, not everything that the students do in, in the... In, in the answer is actually an answer that should be, uh, maybe something is to help them to answer a question, or maybe it's just some something that uh, they, they would like to change the, uh, the color of something. They like to change, for example, if, if, if some people are color um, blind, they, maybe they want to change uh, the colors in 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 the figure, and if if I so, so I can add that support to it, so it has nothing to do with the answer, but I would like to that these properties are there when they have gone to another exercise and then back to this exercise, and these two, these having two uh, two fields in this uh, in in this. Um, in this uh, uh, in in this input field or two input fields means that okay we don't need them to be the answers some one of them can be the states so what this uh, talk is about going around uh, going around stack so this is uh, what I'm meaning there so I I want to go around stack and. Um, and uh, and then uh, I will um, uh, look first on on the one example here, Prime's algorithm exercise that I made for a long, long time ago, and um, maybe not a very long time ago, but uh, well. So <clears throat> the image below, I'm sorry, the image below uh, show the start and 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 the end states of a question where the students click on lines to mark the minimal spending tree. But also in this, um, in this exercise, I had some uh, choices here to change the, the color. So you see that the, the, when you have not done anything, uh, all the lines are blue. And I wanted to, so they could maybe mark all of these uh, in different colors and green is the answer. And uh, so I had different colors here uh, uh, just to mark the candidates here. So of course we, we could have some candidates marked with one color. So we could mark, for example, the colors uh, for with, with, the col with, with the candidates like this. And so they could just follow everything and going going through this and, and also uh, marking all the answers that or all, all, all the lines that are not available because it will not be a tree. The uh, it so and and of course all this marking is not about the question uh, about the answer. The only only thing that is is the answer here should actually be a list of nodes. So giving this list of nodes uh, and not uh, not. Um, this um, the picture here and uh, and the state is uh, is then given to the answer variable and the state to another variable. So, so this is uh, this was our uh, thought to actually distinguish between the response and and the state. And of course, there are many reasons to that, but I think there are uh, some very good reasons to do that, that all input fields, they are text fields. So, and uh, stack translates these to maximum. So if we just print directly into the uh, the stack uh, answers, then we can just think of writing them like a student would have uh, written them. And therefore we can, we can write, we can have whatever type of, uh, of answer field in 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 stack, and we can write to them. So we can write algebraic expressions. So 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 the JSS graph uh, algorithm can write uh, um, algebraic expressions. And actually, I, I, I checked about 
what what is what is happening now is that if if you are if you have a point it will be floating point that is is given and sometimes that uh, we, we got into problems then because because these were not accepted as input as algebraic input so so and also it sometimes it uh, failed to give the right answer because of uh, rounding errors etc and uh, but uh, when you have the freedom to actually write whatever you like into the into this stack fields uh, it it's it will be a better communication between uh, stack and uh, maxima so you have uh, JSS graph giving the answer to stack that is understood directly by Maxima. And that is, uh, I think that's a good thing. And uh, and weather for, uh, that, is, uh, that is a new word. Uh, therefore, um, um, so I think, no, what, what is, uh, I think, I think, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading directly from my my teleprompter, and it, uh, we therefore benefit. <laughs> okay, so 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 we we benefit from the strength of both stack and maxima, and also uh, for storing the state, we are using JSON. And uh, why do we do that? Because uh, JSON can store any string, and it can also store any object from JavaScript. So we do not think about uh, translating. Uh, back and forth it's easy to do that so we have full uh, javascript uh, support in json so that is uh, no no problem there and um, so therefore we um, uh, we yeah, okay so and sometimes we like to check uh, check an exercise by giving the right answer and then also we would like to fill in all the also fill in the state and uh, stack and maxima they support uh, json and, and and we can also make the teacher's answer for the state so that is uh, all of this is is done in in this uh, in my um in in my exercises um, many of them so, so they uh, so therefore um, uh, we need two input fields, and uh, so of course we like to to separate these in, in uh, not not uh, we can uh, hide this input field, but uh, during uh, when you make this uh, uh, when you make these exercises, it's good to not uh, not. Uh, uh, hiding this so you could just show them and 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 see what's happening and and it's 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 quite uh, uh it's quite amusing to see uh see what's happening when you you are programming and and things is going the right way yeah so <clears throat> and um so if you if you start a new exercise uh it should start from scratch so it's uh, the state is uh, you, you may you might give the state uh, just in in the javascript code so if there is so if state store is empty if there is no no um, state stored in state store then um, then um, there is nothing to to get but if there is something you will uh, you will need to to load it into the uh, to JSS uh, JSX graph. So this is this is done by um, by uh, uh, giving a first a field, just like I said in the JS in in the top of the JS graph code, and um, and also have this input state store, and. Um, to get the JavaScript object from the HTML field, you you just you just write this, and this is a bit of a hack because I don't know if this will work in the future, because this is uh, pure uh, HTML uh, and uh, or JavaScript uh, calling an HTML object, so I'm not sure if this will uh, work well uh, very well. 
So it's, uh, but in the future, this might actually fail, but I hope, I hope not. So when you have the state input um, field, you can, you can read, you can, uh, you can read the, uh, the content. So first, first about uh, how do we uh, uh, look about, uh, or when you, you get an, an object, an object from, uh, from, um, from uh, JavaScript is uh, is a data type that actually uh, contains several variables. So you have an object, and uh, well, this contains a number, three point fourteen, a string pi, and another object that uh, contains one variable that is called whatsoever, and uh, the value of that is true. So in order to access the elements in the object, we write, uh, for example, there are two different ways to do it. And uh, one is to write an object, another object whatsoever. Oh, that vertical, that vertical should not be there. I just uh, uh, take it away. Um, it's just some uh, LaTeX code. So let, so the code let what equal an object, another object whatsoever. Uh, okay, okay, both cases, what is true. So that is, um, that is uh, how to, read this object that is uh, stored and um, or actually also how we make these objects to be stored. So first we need to map them into a string and uh, JSON is doing that for us. So making the string from an object is done by stringify. So JSON stringify an object that will make a JSON string and if we like the string back, we just uh, write JSON parse, and we will get the same object back, an ex exact uh, copy of that uh, that object. So that is uh, what we need to to make the JSON and JSON string, and to get the JSON string. So so then we have uh, communication. Uh, this is this is something that is can be uh, given to this um, the the field because the fields uh, are text uh, text field the, the state store are text fields so so first we have um, if if we have this JSS graph the the uh, the input. Uh, we, we 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 have some exercise with the one answer and one state, and um, and then we we write here. We, we might have some parameters that is got from we, that we get from Maxima. So it can be in its state. It can be some parameters, etc. Uh, and um, and uh, of course this can be. We can get this from the maxima, or we can actually make it here. That's a choice you can do yourself. But it's maybe more flexible to let maxima do it for yourself, for you, because then you can use the random, uh, random uh, variables to make the state. So, so here we have um, uh, we check if state input uh, has this value, and uh, we. We use some code here. Oh, where is this? I forgot to. Yes, here. The var uh, we we get the state input by reading this, and it's uh, nice to let it be a variable, so it's uh, you can get this uh, in in the entire program. So you can find it everywhere. This this one. So. <clears throat> Uh, so you can check if this string is not empty. If it's empty, then or it's an empty string, it will. Uh, there is no information there. But if there is a non-empty string, uh, there will. If we have made it ourselves, of course, it will be some JSON code. So we. This is this is something wrong. This is uh, I did some. <laughs> uh, changes in, in the code that this was not very good. Um, 
I had to remove that <laughs> because I'm actually checking. Uh, uh, yeah, that that's that's something strange what I did there. But uh, okay, so I let the states. Um, uh, I, I read, I parsed the the value of of uh, of uh, the state input field in, and then um, I I get some something in that I might have called the state. For example, it can the name of of the state can be a state. So this is uh, this is how to load eventually stored state into JSS graph code, now a JSF graph, and this is the code. So, <clears throat> and then uh, if we have uh, changed, if if there are any change, then we need one. Uh, we 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 need to update. We need to update uh, everything. Uh, uh, when we are making some changes. So we need some, well, for example, if there is some element we are clicking on and you are changing the state, uh, then you need to, to add this listener. And uh, so whenever you click on the on, on the element, it, that can be a line, it can be, a, uh, it can be the, the board itself, it can be, it can be uh, some points, etc., et and and any graphical object in uh, in JSX graph, and uh, and then you do the do do the changes. So there is some code doing the changes there, and then you update the answer and the state, and uh, and then I will look at how to update the state, answer, and state. So we. We make this uh, update state function, and this is uh, you see it's, it's not very long. It's it's a short function here. So we make um, we we get state input from uh, by using this variable state ref, and um, so then we get this uh, this stack input uh, field for for state for the state, and um, and then. Um, we make a new. Uh, we make the. Uh, we pack uh, the new state into um, into an object, and we make this. Uh, we stringify this uh, new state, and um, and we just need to 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 tell uh, tell stack and tell tell stack that uh, there is uh, or, or tell. Um, uh, tell stack that there has been some changes here. So this is um, this is um, how the state is updated, and also um, if we have the answer and uh, we we need some code for making the answer string. It can be, for example, a point. Uh, it can be a algebraic expression. It can be a list of nodes and or names of nodes in um, in in a graph or or whatever you like, or it, it can be some state of of uh, of a logical circuit or or something um, what whatever you whatever you like. What the what is going to be um, um, uh, sent to to the decision trees? So so this is. Uh, Done in that way, so it's making a string, and we are just telling the ants input field that uh, this is this is the answer, and then just tell about the change. So this is um, this is the um, how to send the answer, and um, uh, we also have this um, uh, maxima uh, uh, um, methods to to give um to give this uh to to send the state uh to the to the uh, for example if, if you if you like to make a teacher answer for the or a model answer in in the, for the state uh, then you can um, can do to this for example if you like to show the students what is the right answer 
as a graphical uh, picture. This is uh, this is quite uh, neat. So you can you can just uh, uh, give the model answer and and build it just like uh, uh, just like you did, almost like you did in JavaScript, but here with with stack um, stack maxima uh, comments. So this is um, this is. Uh, uh, this is the code, and this is how to program it. And uh, and now we can look at some um, some uh, some galleries here. And uh, we have um, uh, an answer and a, uh, answer of um, of an exercise. You have the answer here, and you have the exercise here. And what they are asked to do here, and this uh, the the language is Norwegian. But you should just uh, click on the fields to change the color to indicate uh, what the set is, and then you can uh, then you can go and check the answer and uh, and and um, and th they will get points uh, from this. And the only thing that is sent from this is uh, is um, a set of. Uh, of uh, which fields of these it's it's I think it's it's just uh, an array of of uh, false and true false if it's picked on, uh, clicked on and and true if it's uh, uh, tr true if it's clicked on and, and false if it's not and and the next one is uh, is uh, something I made uh, last Friday because I wanted to show it to you. <clears throat> This is a log logical circuit uh, exercise that is uh, uh, made recently. So you can uh, the, the the idea here is that they can play around with uh, the logical circuit and and click on this. But uh, the, I I could also have the possibility to just fill in the answers by clicking on um, clicking on uh, a button. Mm -hmm. Add a button to this so that um, so that they just click on that button and then the the the, the table will be automatically filled in with what they have done. So they just play around and uh, make that table in in that way. So I will stop sharing and I will show you some of uh, 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 these. Um, uh, so where is it? Yes, there it is. So I will share this uh, this window with you. So this is uh, this is the, um, uh, this is the disjunctive normal form exercise, and uh, a set here is given by uh, on on disjunctive normal form, and they are going to click on the different field. For example, you see here it's outside A, but it's inside B and C. So I click on that one, and uh, it's uh, outside A and B, but inside C, so it's that one. And uh, it's uh, in both A, B, and C, which means it's here, and it's inside A, but not in B and not in C, which is there. And I just have to check the answer, and uh, I get correct answer, well done. And uh, the same, uh, the same uh, in, in Norwegian. So that is uh, one way of doing it, but but I can reuse reuse everything here. So actually, I can reuse the code and make another uh, exercise, and uh, just with no communication, this is just built by using the same code. So this is uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, not interactive, but this is the interactive, and I like this most. So, what? How does it work? Okay, it's a listener. It's 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 just listen to the to the to the, the to the board, and whenever I click on the on 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 the on the field, if I click somewhere here, it will check: is it inside A? Is it outside C? Is is it outside B? Okay, if yes. B is uh, now this field is uh, chosen. So there is only one listener, and it's uh, that is doing this. So it's 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 really simple 
simple uh, exercise. It's, it's, it was really uh, maybe not simple exercise, but it's uh, it's uh, simple to make. And um, I think it was uh, one of these. No, this is Prime's algorithm. Yeah, I'd like to show you this too. So what what I do here is I start here with this D. I can choose uh, double click two times on on four to get the green line there. So it's saying that okay, the tree should shall be marked with green uh, green um, uh, green fields. But I like to the students can has the possibility to 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 mark everything here yellow if if uh, if they are candidates for the next point and uh, and uh, so these are the candidates so it's it makes it easy for them to choose so they can see okay 24 21 41 28 2 okay 2 is it and then they can manually click like this this could of course be done automatically and also filling in this form should be automatically here they should just fill in uh, what is um, uh, the, the what is the first one D and then the second one G and then then J. But if I I could do this automatically as well, and they could uh, just uh, continue like this. And of course, five is the next one, and 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 so on. And they they continue like this. And if I check the answer, it will say, oh no, it was wrong, incorrect answer. But um, but uh, if I if I make one of the other one here, I think I think I have dif different uh, sets here. This one, yes, this one is I can use the same code with with this um, um, correction and tell them what is wrong. So so there's a lot of thing here that can be reused, and I think maybe some of this could be packed into a package that could be standard. That would be that would be nice. So, uh, and uh, I think uh, that was an old one. This is a one point. Uh, it's, it's moving around on one, one point. Uh, and, um, and, and this, uh, I think, now this, uh, I think, no, that was not one. Where is it? I was sure I had this somewhere here. Oh, yes, here it is. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to find it again. So this is this is the, this is my first version of this. There is nothing happening here. It just it can change the the input value here. So it's just to make to 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 do something here. But then I packed all of the JSS graph elements into objects classes, and then they could communicate with each other. And I just uh, click on this, and you can see that. Uh, um, one 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 will give zero. So you just write the zero here, and uh, you can one no, zero one one gives a one uh, here. And uh, of course, they, they they can use this to to fill in the graph. And uh, and zero zero zero, it's also one. So these are uh, um, this is uh, this is uh, one of one of these questions I made. And, uh, and also I made some alternatives here that they also are going to, to write uh, an expression of uh, that is equivalent, a logical expression that is equivalent to this, uh, to this form uh, or to, to, to this graph. So I think this was uh, every, everything uh, that I had in, in uh, that I had here. I just have to share the, the last, uh, uh, the last file, which is, um, oh, let's see, how do I get to the to the end? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, first, some. Uh, um, uh, I had, I think I only used reference this as a reference in in what I did, and of course, thank you very much. <laughs>